third and final day of Rally Croatia. Four stages and 54 kilometers between Kalirov and Pera and his second win of the year. Rovan Pera's overnight lead of 20 seconds over Oit Tanak was looking secure. The Estonian knew it was a big ask to reel in the Toyota on pace alone, so he took a gamble. Tanak bolted the soft tyre to his Hyundai, left service and prayed for rain. The opening stage of the day, and there was no question the tyre to be on, was the hard compound. Tanak dropped 12 seconds and was now over 30 behind Rovan Pera. Uh, how are those soft tyres working in that stage? Yeah, it was, it's not working. <laughs> it's quite dry. And, uh, we were scared quite a lot with uh, possible rain and uh, it's uh, quite sunny, so OK. But uh, we had to take the gamble. Further back, the battle raged between Thierry Neuville and Craig Breen for third. Neuville has had a plague of time penalties on a weekend where undoubtedly his pace has been there. Determined to get back on the podium, he went four tenths quicker on stage 17 and went on to win stage 18, a full 12.3 seconds faster than Breen to take third overall. We continue and we're going to see. We want that podium and uh, we're going to get it. Uh, the conditions were really tricky and yeah, somehow we, we survived, let's say, but um, we were really on it and uh, a bit risky, but uh, I think it can pay off. Up at the front, Tanak soft compound tyres were the choice to be on through stage 18, with some wet patches and plenty of mud lying around. But he only took 2.7 seconds out of Rob and Pera. Finn's lead remained comfortable. In the morning it was good, this one for sure the soft is better. Um, I'm happy that we didn't have more time to, to oil because he had full soft and for sure it's much better here. It's so so dirty and muddy all the time, but uh, but yeah, it was clean run and uh, quite quite okay pace, so it was good. Tanak now trailed Rov and Pera overall by 28.4 seconds, and with just two stages remaining, the Estonian on that soft compound tyre was relying on some rain turning up. And five minutes before stage 19 kicked off, his prayers were answered. The heavens opened and the rain came. With a mixture of full softs and wets, what came next was spectacular. Full commitment, full send, and Tanak went a full 29.8 seconds faster than Rovan Pera to take the rally lead. With just one stage remaining here in Croatia, it was game on. He's a good driver and uh, I mean, He's pushing a lot, I, I'm sure, you know, and then it was more dirty, so let's see, let's see, but uh, yeah, at least uh, we are safely through. For my priority was not to do any mistakes, so not to give anything away. Into the power stage, and by now the roads had dried. The hard compound tyre was once again the favoured choice. Thierry Neuville's dramas weren't over, though. He picked up two punctures and somehow got away with this off. He made it to the end of the stage to hang on to third and close out the podium positions ahead of Craig Breen. At the end, a mistake. Uh, yeah, just got caught on the braking with the front uh, hard tyre. I didn't get any grip, so we went straight. Um, luckily, we get away with it. But that's rallying. I mean, we are very unlucky for a couple of things with the small issues we had all over the weekend, which caused us some time penalty. And uh, yeah, uh, at the end, the luck was on the our side on the last stage. So. Everything good. Up at the front though, just 1.4 seconds separated Rovan Pera and Tanak. The hard compound tyre on the Toyota was working and Rovan Pera gave everything he could to try and claw back his rally lead. He stopped the clock with a 9.01.8. All he could do now was wait for Tanak to come through. And by the first split, Tanak was already over four seconds slower, and by the stop line, he was 5.6 down. In a weekend of massive highs and lows, Calais Rovan Pera confirmed as power stage and overall rally winner in Croatia. I was sure we're going to be so fast on this one with these tyres, but, uh, but it's amazing. We, we push really hard, and I think we, we deserve it this weekend. Best win of your career so far? Yeah, for sure, and the toughest one. Big thanks to the to the gravel crew. They did an amazing job in these uh, difficult uh, conditions, and also the team. Everybody did a good job. It's been a mind-blowing weekend, and Rovan Pera extends his lead in the championship as the WRC heads for Portugal and the first gravel event of the year. Let us know below who you think is favourite for the win in four weeks' time when we do it all again on the WRC.